Hi everybody, welcome to Beauty Broadcast Express. Thank you so much to the new subscribers who have recently been coming my way. The product I wanna talk about today is the new Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I've gotten a lot of questions about this since I've shown this in a haul video. Packaging wise, I think it's a beautiful foundation. Um, this frosted glass is very pretty and then the pump is awesome as well. This claims to be an oil-free foundation that masterfully diffuses the line between makeup and skin for coverage so undetectable you can't can't see the makeup and you can't see imperfections. Now is this completely undetectable? I mean I think my skin's looking pretty good here from the distance from me to the camera but let's be honest here if I put the, my mirror right up to my face here yeah I can see makeup and I know I've set this with powder I've got bronzer and blushes on and stuff like that but even like right after applying this product I could still see the product if we're being completely truthful here but that being said I still think it has a very natural looking finish on the skin and I want to kind of bring in the demo early on here because I think that shows a lot um, so again one full pump I like to spread it all over my skin so my brush or a sponge that I'm using doesn't totally eat it up first I took my up and up complexion brush and I just started buffing in and I also patted over the areas where I wanted more coverage such as the under eye and this has a lot better coverage than I was expecting like going into it I thought okay born this way and they kind of talk about how natural it looks in the claims it's probably going to end up being sheer but surprisingly the coverage is very good I would really say that the coverage of this is similar to the Estee Lauder double wear not the maximum coverage but the traditional you know regular double wear not double wear light not maximum coverage the one in the middle <laughs> I feel like it covers in a very similar manner to that um, but instead of being totally matte on the skin it's kind of like a satin finish because once you've got it blended in and you kind of turn your head you can can actually see the light kind of catching this it does look very skin like but when I use this foundation I do feel like I can lay off of uh, the amount of concealer I might be using um, I feel the same way when I use the double wear products also so that I enjoy and something else I didn't mention as I was blending this out it doesn't set too quickly so you really can kind of patch it all over your face and take your time now as you see me talking throughout this video what I've gone ahead and applied on top of that was a little under eye concealer a very light amount of powder. I've got some bronzer on and some blush and a little highlight. But the staying power was really what had me testing this a lot longer than I was expecting to before I reviewed it because I did wear this out on some very hot and humid days and I thought a couple times there, wow, I think I got a really great result from this because I came back in the house and I felt like my whole, you know, complexion looked relatively the same as when I left. However, I feel like the staying power of this foundation foundation, for me anyway, is greatly dependent on the amount of setting powder that I use on this. For example, today I went super light with it, mainly because I wanted you to see as much of this foundation as you could, you know, just the true look of it on my skin. I will probably notice by the end of the day, I will look rather oily around my nose. Like I'll start to see a little freckling through there. It will almost seem like it's worn down a bit. But if I really make a conscious effort to set this, and it's not like I need to set it with anything super specific. I've used a variety of drugstore or high-end powders on top of this, it seems that that will really um, have an impact on this foundation. I feel like my skin's pretty normal, doesn't get super oily, isn't incredibly dry either, but I do think they created a nice product here because it is oil-free, so that's music to the ears of those who have oily skin, but it is a bit replenishing, I think, as well. I do think the oily skin folks can, again, set it a little bit more, and maybe if you've got dry skin, try setting it very minimally if at all. But I think something to think about is if you want to maintain what this foundation is all about, which is looking kind of skin-like, not looking too mask-like or completely flat and matte, um, pay attention to the kinds of powders you're putting on top. The IT Cosmetics Celebration Illumination Powder, um, using some of that I think really is a similar finish to this type product, so everything still maintains that kind of natural radiance. The e.l.f. Pressed Mineral Foundation is kind of like that, um, the NYC Smooth Skin BB Radiance Powder. Just 
just any powder that's not too crazy thick and matte um, is gonna still allow the essence of this foundation to kind of show through. So overall, I really am enjoying this. Um, if a brand can turn out a product that's giving me coverage comparable to the classic Estee Lauder Double Wear, I'm gonna enjoy that. And if you can make it look, you know, have that little natural twist to the way the finish comes off on the skin, I think it's really great. Been wearing it a lot lately. We'll continue to have this in my foundation rotation. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.